What's going on guys, Jurassic here. Today we're going to be learning how to set up a simple quill bot inside of Discord. So head over to the link down in the description below, it'll take you over to this page. All you have to do is click on the invite button here. It's not going to have any crazy authorized things like the server that you want to add him to. You are going to need to be an administrator on the server or the owner and click on continue. He doesn't have any crazy administrative privileges or anything, so you don't actually have to deselect anything. Just click authorize. Click I am a human and you're good to go. Now you'll head over inside of your Discord. He's going to be joining inside of this general area. To do his commands is relatively simple. All you have to do is type slash pull. And then you can have create a question. And basically you just click this. Boom. It's going to ask you for what your question is. For example, what's your favorite color? Now you can do one of two things. If you click on enter, this is going to be a yes, no question, which is going to be a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So the other way of doing it is going to be slash pull. Ask the exact same question, but this time we're going to be doing a little bit different. You'll see where it says plus 20. All you have to do is click on this area. It's going to give you a choice A through T. So just click on choice A and let's say red. Click 19 more. Do B. Blue. And basically you have 18 options. Whenever you're done, click enter. It's going to put it together. And now you have two different options. Fortunately, you're not able to color at this but it is the simplest pull bots around on Discord. Now, one thing that you can do a little bit extra if you're trying to customize them so he only sees a specific channel, head over inside of your service settings. You click on the roles, and we're going to actually make him a dedicated role. So click on create roles, name it pull, for example, and we want to put him above the simple pull. That way, at least is controlling his nature. Click on save, and then we're going to assign him the pull color. So now he's going to be categorized on his own thing. If we go inside the general area, or you can go inside of the text channels, click on edit category permissions, and then you can just scroll down over to where it says pull bots, have it so it does not view the channel, click save changes. Now, whenever you do this, it does take a little bit for Discord to get caught up on where the pull bot will see its channel. So you might have him inside of your section for a couple seconds. But after that, it should clear and you'll no longer be in any of these text categories inside of this area here. So if you want to have your own dedicated category for your polls, for example, click on create category, name it to whatever you want. So we'll just name it poll. Boom, it's going to be down here. Now we're going to edit our categories permissions and have it so only the poll bot can see it. So you'll notice everyone is selected right now. If we have that deselected, like we're trying to have everybody removed and come over here inside of the selection, have the poll, have that so it can view it. Click save changes on our server. Arcane is administrative privileges, so he'll always be able to do it. But basically, you can have it so the poll is only going to be shown in certain categories in the same way if you want to have it so he's not shown in your categories, just like before. All you have to do now is right click edit category, go inside of your permissions, click the plus sign on the roles, select the poll role that we have, click on the X, click save, and now he can no longer see anything inside of that channel. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.